All right, hi everybody. We're gonna go ahead and create an SVG file out of a Procreate file. Um, the first step is you do need an Adobe Illustrator for this um, conversion. Once you've created a file that you are happy with in Procreate, you can export that file. I prefer to airdrop as a JPEG or a PNG my artwork. Um, because airdropping seems to preserve the quality of the photo as opposed to emailing it or sending it some other way. So I airdropped my Procreate file uh, into my MacBook and now I'm opening Adobe Illustrator in my MacBook. So the purpose of an SVG file for me is to use on my Cricut. So I like to cut vinyl or iron on vinyl to create my own t-shirts and art projects and crafts. So an SVG file prints as a cut file. So when you're creating in Procreate artwork, keep in mind you, you don't want to be overly complex because some of those details will be extremely difficult to weed out when you're um, removing your vinyl from the transfer paper and trying to put it onto a project. So. Those of you who use Cricut Silhouette, those kind of things, you understand what I'm talking about. But um, I have uh, in my Procreate created a file. The canvas I use, I created a 12 by 12 inch canvas in Procreate. So now I'm going to create a 12 by 12 inch canvas for uh, Illustrator. So let's go ahead and create a blank canvas. Now, once you have your blank canvas, um, you'll go up to file and place and then find the file. Here's my little bunny rabbit that I created in Procreate and I'm just going to click and drag and drop my file. So it's pretty simple. There are nine different colors in this image. Uh, we have blush, brown, coral, blue, green, orange, purple, black, and white. So the first thing I need to do is first embed the picture. And now I want to do an image trace. But I want to trace the nine different colors. Now the, the defaults are to 3, 6, or 16. But I don't want that. So for my image trace, I need my colors. Colors here. And to get this window open, you can go window image trace down here and it'll open. Um, I want to reduce this to nine different colors and I'm going to hit trace. Tracing could be slow. Yes, yes, I always get this warning. And I hit OK. I am not an expert Illustrator user. I am still a college student studying graphic design, so um, forgive me if this is not the most intelligent tutorial. It is just what I've learned through watching other videos. So hopefully you find it helpful. Okay, so this is taking a moment. Okay, almost finished. Okay, Illustrator has finished tracing the file and has identified the nine different colors. Um, all of the objects are still grouped together. So when you click on it, it's still a single object that you can move around. Um, but to create the different layers, we want to ungroup the entire object. Mm -hmm. Hmm, it says it's already grouped. How strange. What are we doing here? Okay. Oh, I have to hit expand. Expand. I'm sorry. So now we have, it's expanding to the nine different colors. Okay, now it has traced the nine different colors. So the object is still grouped, but I can go in here 
and ungroup it and select just certain elements and pieces. So as you hover over, you see this blush piece has been selected. So if I were to pull that out of there, that's a single piece, but I want this piece to match up with all of these other blush pieces and to be grouped together so that when I cut this file on my Cricut, um, they're all attached to one another in the same way that you see the final product. So we'll start with blush, click one of the objects with that color, go up to object, I'm sorry, select same fill color, and it should select all other blush colored objects within your file or your artwork. So now that I have all of those um, blush colored selected, I will go to object, compound path. And this is a way of like attaching them or gluing them together, I guess. So we'll hit make. So now when I select the blush path and I move it, it's all together. And when it's time to cut on my Cricut, this will be one layer out of one um, piece of vinyl of whatever color you want. And in my case, I want like a blush color. Um, and you can see that all of the pieces are lined up where they're supposed to go. So let's try to snap this back in place. There we go. Okay, so now we want to do the same thing with our brown. See the brown, there's multiple pieces of brown, so we're going to go select, same, fill color, object, compound path, make. So now the brown is one piece. Here's the bunny. Okay, let's put him back. Or her, she's got flowers in her hair, I'm not sure. Um, the blue, it looks like, if I zoom in here, these blue pieces aren't good. Nope, it looks like they need to be matched. So let's select same fill color, object, compound path, and hit make. All right, so that piece is one. There we go. Now let's go do the same for the others. So we've done the blush, we've done the brown and the blue. Let's go with coral. Select same fill color, um, object, compound path. And, it, and you see with this one, it has selected the ears, the nose, and the tulips. Compound path, make. So now that's its own layer. So we've got blush, brown, coral, blue. Let's do the green pieces. Green. Okay. Select same fill color. And I'm sure there's a shortcut for that. Um, I don't know my shortcuts yet. Object, compound path, which is command eight, make. Okay, so that's the green, right? So I should be able to click on any green piece in here, and if I move it, all the greens go with it. Yep, Let's snap it back. Let's go with orange. Select same fill color object, which is command compound path, command eight, and those are now together. All right, what do we have left? Purple. Think. Oh, wait. Select same fill color. Hmm. Let's go with the purple. Let's try this purple again. Okay, that's done. Select same fill color, object, make. 
And one way to check your work is to come over here to the layers and expand the layer and see how many colors we have going. So here's my green, blue, blush, purple. These are probably white. But you have to decide, do we want to delete the white or do we want to keep a white background? Um, I think I want to keep the white eyes, um, but I want to delete this background because I just want to cut that out. So I'm just going to delete it. You're not going to see it anymore, but here's the eye. Select same fill color. There, it's got both the eyes. Compound path, make, okay. So we've got the white of the eyes. We looks like we still need to combine the blacks of the eyes. So let's go do black, select, same, the color. <clears throat> so to make a long story short, this is not the easiest process. Compound path, make. Um, with the video, I will include, I've made um, a shorthand notes on the steps that you take, it makes it much simpler. The, there's like five simple steps. You place the file, you embed the file, you image trace choosing the correct number of colors, and then hit expand. You ungroup, select a color, select all the same fill colors, compound the path so that those colors all combine, and then when you're finished, with all of your colors, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we said we have nine. You're going to select all and you're going to group the object back together. And now it should be ready to file, save. And at the drop down, you're going to choose SVG. So here is my, we're going to call just Easter Bunny. Welcome for an SVG file. Let me go save it with all my other SVG files. Yeah, I have a lot of crap on my computer. SVGs by me, new folder. Looks like I already have an Easter Bunny, but that's okay. We're gonna do an Easter Bunny welcome. Create, save, and I don't change any of these defaults. It's set to the SVG 1.1, SVG embed, and I'm just going to hit OK. So that should be saved. Now let's go into Cricut and test it. So if I launch design, design space, I should be able to upload my SVG file. And this is the moment of truth, if I actually did this right. New project, upload, upload. You saw some of my other images in there. Yes, I just did a thing, one and two SVG file for my daughter's Dr. Seuss birthday project today. So on my Google Drive, let me find my Cricut. Cricut number two, and I go to my SVGs by me. And we said Easter Bunny, welcome. There's the SVG. All right, fingers crossed. Oh, it's looking good so far. Okay, so all of these different layers should load. Let's hit save. <laughs> Please work insert image and it looks like it was successful so over here we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine layers and each of these layers are probably still grouped together um, but you can go over here and ungroup it if you want to not that you need to but let's say you just don't want the background and you just want the bunny so you can remove that blush layer if you like um, if you want to change colors on something 
let's say you want your blood.